Instead of being addicted to sugar, wouldn't you rather find an easy way to reduce those sugar cravings and give your brain some healthy brain foods? Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory challenges and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids, and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a retired school teacher, I've learned to look for the simplest way of doing things. And you know, I know you've probably heard about drinking your sugar, and some of you may be accustomed to drinking your sugar. They call it liquid sugar. You know what I'm talking about, those sodas and those iced teas and those punches and those energy drinks and all that good stuff that's loaded with sugar. You're drinking your sugar. Well, guess what? You can drink your brain foods as well. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Did you catch my video a few days ago? I did a video, a quick little video a few days ago about um, smoothies because that's where we're headed and if you want to catch that um, video just go to my youtube channel or to my facebook page keep your brain sharp and you'll find that video on there but today i really wanted to talk a little bit more intensively about what foods your brain actually needs and how you can put them in smoothies and how you can reduce those sugar cravings some of you are telling me about yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So, what does your brain need? Well, you know your brain needs water. Your brain is actually 75% water and it needs water on a regular daily basis. And so, one thing you want to do is to get enough water into your body daily and smoothies can be a way because guess what? Water can be your liquid base. It can be just straight up water or you can put coconut water in it and get the addition of healthy fats, which your brain also needs, okay? Or you can use a, um, a non-dairy milk, you know, has water in it. You don't wanna use cow's milk because that, that creates mucus and stuff, and that's just not good for you because of the things that are in there. So, but you wanna do a liquid base, and you also can put in water-dense fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables that are packed with water like your cucumbers, like your celery, like your watermelon. And guys, tis the season to make some delicious smoothies. And there is so many things to choose from and so many ways you can make that thing together. It's just wonderful. So water is definitely something that your brain needs and something you can easily put into your smoothies. Another thing is leafy green veggies. Your brain thrives on leafy green veggies, as does your gut, okay? And in those leafy green veggies, you have all kinds of nutrients, and you have vitamins, vitamin E, and vitamin C, and you have antioxidants, you have folate, you have a lot of healthy things for your brain. And you may want to start off with spinach. Spinach is a kind of, you know, non, you know, kind of a bland-like vegetable that most people can consume and doesn't really have a strong flavor to it. So you can start off with that if you're a rookie um, smoothie drinker or a beginner, start off with, with, with spinach. But you want to also progress to other leafy vegetables as well. Collards are full, packed with nutrients. Mustard greens and any kind of greens are packed with nutrients. Celery, cucumber, those things you want to go to. Kale, okay, you want broccoli leaves. You want to progress to that as you go along and make some variety in your green leafy veggies that you choose to put in there. But you can start off with spinach, that's A-okay. Another thing that you need are um, polyphenols, which you find, um, which is a kind of phytonutrient, and you find that in your berries, okay? So you know you wanna put your blueberries in there, your strawberries in there, your raspberries, any kind of berry you wanna throw in there, and that's gonna be excellent for your brain. Also, cacao, which is a healthier form of chocolate. So instead of putting chocolate, and even if you want to go, it's even healthier than your dark chocolate because your dark chocolate still has a, a proportion of the dairy in there and the sugar in there. It's only, you know, 75% or 85% chocolate. So if you go straight with the cacao nibs or the cacao, cacao powder, 
with just, with just chocolate, you get away from the toxins that and the processing that you have in even the dark chocolate. So that would be the preference to throw that in there, not necessarily in every smoothie, but you know, you can hook something up with bananas and chocolate and mm-hmm and almond milk and that that can be really good so you know use it when when you can and that's a way of getting those polyphenols in there too also you want to make sure you get your vitamin b12 now vitamin b12 is important to your brain for your memory and other vitamins too vitamin c vitamin e all of that but it's, if you're eating a plant-based diet or if you're vegan or something like that you may have a tendency of having to struggle with getting the B12 that you definitely want to get on a regular basis. So you want an easy way is to put it in your smoothies, okay? So aloe vera has B12 in there. Girl, I put some, I made a smoothie the other night and Oliver can tell you, my husband Oliver, he can tell you, I did me a smoothie the other night and it had aloe vera and apples in it. Girl, it was D. Delicious. You couldn't even taste the aloe vera, but it was getting me my B12 vitamins. Another thing you can put in there is nutritional yeast. You can put nutritional yeast in there and it's full of B12 vitamins. And go ahead and put it in your smoothies. Not every single time in every smoothie, but get it in there. You know, mix those things up. Sometimes put aloe vera, sometimes put nutritional yeast. Another thing that's kind of expensive, but it's, it's packed with B vitamins as well, is goji berries, okay? And you can get that off of Amazon or whatever. Like I said, kind of expensive, so you don't want to go crazy with it, but it is an excellent source that you can put in there and get that B12, get your body so, so very, very needs. Did I, tell, did I talk about healthy fats yet? Nope. You know your brain likes omega-3s, right? And other healthy fats. And so you can put that into your smoothie as well. And guess what? You can substitute your banana for avocado, especially those of you that are watching your sugar intake. If you don't want to have um, a lot of sugar in there for your pre-diabetic or whatever, or just to change it up, or just have a way of getting healthy omegas in there. You can put the avocado, will give it a creaminess just like the banana does. So you can try um, avocado. Also, if you just want, if you want the banana in there, if you don't like the avocado in there, make sure you put um, like flax seeds in there, or make sure you put almond butter in there, chia seeds, and get your healthy fats in your smoothie. Also, nut butters, those kind of things, to get your healthy fats in your smoothies. Did I leave something out? Okay, I want to talk about um, vitamin D, because we talked about vitamins, and your brain needs vitamin, and vitamin D is excellent for your brain as well and it needs that but you can't really put it in the smoothie but what you can do is go outside so that's just a little tangent for your vitamin d which is not really a vitamin it's really a hormone but you're going to go outside you can drink your smoothie outside or whatever but get yourself some vitamin d now you also can add other superfoods super brain foods into your smoothie you can add canned pumpkin you have pumpkin smoothie so pumpkin as your base excellent for your brain and it'll give you a wonderful flavor especially if you add some spices in it that's it'll taste delicious you also can have sweet potato haven't tried that huh mm -hmm. you also put sweet and that's an, another excellent brain food you can have a sweet potato smoothie and also beets now you know a lot about beets you know beets are excellent so you know you can have a smoothie and have the main the main ingredients be your beets or your beet juice okay so spices also are very, very important and can be put in there and be a very a wonderful way of getting superfoods into your smoothie for your brain. You can do your ginger, you can do your turmeric, you can do your um, cayenne pepper. Woo, that's going to give a little kick to it. Cayenne pepper, so don't get crazy. Cayenne pepper. But, and you can also do um, Ceylon cinnamon. I said Ceylon cinnamon, which is C E Y L. In salon, all right. That's cinnamon you want. You don't want the cinnamon typically that you find in the grocery store because that has a um, tendency to have toxins in it and it's more processed. You want to get the salon cinnamon, which is a healthier version, and you don't have the same toxicity risk that you have when you take um, the regular cinnamon. And since then, you'll be able to put the cinnamon in as as you like, okay, and you won't be over ODing on the on the, the regular cinnamon type of thing. So it's salon cinnamon, okay? And then also you can put toppings on your smoothies. I like to put the um, coconut flakes. We have when I do a blueberry thing with Oliver and I put the little coconut flakes. And I also put almond, you know, slivers 
cross top looks so cute but it tastes good too you can of course put your blueberries in there and use your blueberries as a little topping on there mm -hmm. you can do that as well you can use your cacao nibs the little chips of, of cacao and you can put sprinkle that on there and that's getting extra nutrition or even sesame seeds or something like that you know be creative and mix it up and, and match it up and kind of things and that is an excellent excellent way of getting brain foods into you on a regular basis so you can start you know simple like if you're a rookie if you're a beginner you can start by having it very really sweet not with you know refined sugar and stuff but you can have a lot of different fruits in there you have your mangoes and your watermelons and your berries and your all those things in there and get it sweet and your banana in there and get it sweet and have some veggies in there but you want to progress you want to progress so that you get to half and half and then if you're gonna hang with the big dogs you're gonna get where it's mostly vegetables or maybe all vegetables and a truly a green smoothie so we're gonna move you from a sweet tooth to a green tooth but it's a process don't get crazy it's a process but that's where you're headed and that's where you want to go and here's the good news this is the second point in terms of reducing your sugar cravings the more veggies you get accustomed to eating it helps curb your sugar cravings and guess when's a good time to make that smoothie in the morning when you get up in the morning especially if you have sugar cravings make a green smoothie at least put some vegetables in it and that's going to help you curb your sugar cravings for you know throughout the day and also when you get a sugar craving or something make a smoothie and put some of that fiber get some of that fiber in you yeah and that's going to help you with those sugar cravings it's going to it's going to slow down mm -hmm, the sugar um, uh, going to your bloodstream and that's it's going to be good on all accounts for you so get in the habit of doing that of eating or not eating drinking smoothie although they do have smoothie bowls now where you do actually spoon it it's very very thick and you spoon it so if you want to make a smoothie bowl that's that's cool too but if you're doing the water I mean doing the um, smoothie thing in the morning um, try not to use ice in it because that's going to affect your digestion okay so it's going to um, slow down the, the, the your stomach acids and stuff and so you don't want to use ice water in the morning when you're having so you just have the room temperature stuff going on you'll be good also in the evenings you know when you're closing that getting ready to close that kitchen and you're still feeling a little bit hungry a green smoothie would be a wonderful thing for you to do instead of going for that other stuff that I know and you know you go for okay we want to you know kind of wean ourselves away from that so that's a good thing too so I want to encourage you to go from that sweet tooth to that green tooth by making smoothies and this is a wonderful time it's summertime they are refreshing they're simple you can put them in the in the refrigerator they keep for one or two days preferably I gotta be honest I like to drink all my smoothies on that the day I make it I least I like to make a fresh one every day but you do you because they say they can you know you can do it the second day and sometimes I do but I really prefer to make a fresh one every day but that's that's me okay so guys have you heard about my website yeah my website is up and it's running and I want you to go to it and take that better brain quiz it's a free quiz and the good thing is after you answer those simple questions I send you a response so that you can see how well you're doing regarding your brain and you want to know that I want you to know that so go ahead and go on my website and check out the other things too but check the take the brain better brain quiz as well because your brain's destiny is in your hands